Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing series, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see state management in Nux3. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so you might have come across Pioneer or Vuex. Nowadays, it's Pioneer. <laughs> so Pioneer, you might have used in Vue3 apps for state management. I have also created a video for Pioneer and Vue3. So, so please do check that link. And here with Nux3, we can use Pioneer, that's not a problem, but Nux3 has its own state management system, which makes our lives super simple. So let me give you an example. Let's say we have certain components. So inside a to-do folder, I have a to-do form. So it just an input and buttons, which is this one over here, these two. Then we have to-do item, just all the list items. Then to-do list, which just renders to-do item in for loop and all that is brought together. So to-do form and to-do list is brought inside index.view in the to-do folder. Now, if I want to use it on my home page, I can just uh, put it like to-do component because then this to-do component will go inside this to-do folder and look for index.view. If it's present, now it's present. So it will just bring in these two components on my page. Now inside this form, I'm importing use to-do, not importing, actually using use to-do composable that we created in the previous video. And there we are asking for add to do and to do list just because we want to get the to do list so that we can get the ID for the new to do. It's just going to be an increment of the length and we pass in the object with text and ID. So this goes inside to our add to do function, which is coming from use to do, which adds to in our to do list in, uh, in the list where we have this items being rendered. We are asking for to do list from use to do again, and we are just rendering list of items over here. Now let's give it a try. Ideally, when we add a to do, we when we console it, we see that new to do is added. So if I go over here, console, show the console at the side by side. And here, if we add a to do, let's say view three. Now, if we add it here, we see that it's being added over here. That's great. But however, it's not reflected in our UI. The reason being, we are taking this to-do list as ref. And as we are taking it as ref, then in that case, we need to like emit an event. And then from that event, we have to get the new to-do values and so on. Like there are a lot many things gonna happen. However, let's say if we take it as a computer property, let's see if there are any difference. So here, what we can do is let's say we have something like this. Const let's say list equal to computed. And let's say if we take this as a computed property, will it be any of difference? So if we go over here, put list over here, and if we now check it again, add it, no difference. The reason being, even if we take it as a computed property or whatnot, its scope is only limited to this form because we are adding it over here. So it's just limited over there. So it's not reflected in the list. So how can we make it as a global state or how can we make it in a state management way? Pretty simple, just one line here. We just need to have a composable use state, which the first parameter will be the name of this state. So let's call it to-do list. And the second parameter is going to be a callback, which will return a default value or initial value for this to-do list, not default, but initial value. Now let's see the difference. Now here, we don't even have to take it as a computer property. We can straight away take it as it is. So let's put it over here. And now let's go back. Let's add a to-do, view three, add. Uh, okay, I guess I'm putting something wrong in the item. So props. Item. Oh yes, I haven't pressed it over here. So item equal to item. Now, just to show you, like, even if I take it as a ref, so if I go back again over here and take it as a ref, it will still won't work. So if we go back over here, add some to do, it won't work. But as soon as we make it back again to use state and then add a to do, and there you go, we have the to do, we add one more, we have one more, we have one more and so on. So we can have this state management and it's so simple that it's literally like acting as a ref and we can straight away change the value with to do list dot value and we can get the value as it is. So just with one composable, we can make that state globally available. Now, one thing we to consider here is, it says in documentation as well, do not ever put your state as a ref outside of your setup script because 
if that if you do that then there are chances of memory leak so the best way to do it is use use state and then easily we can have a state management system in our view nux3 app so that's all in this video in the next video we will see how we can deploy this website on firebase so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye